welcome back. Now, with the titans of the industry questioning the government's power to tap uh, phones of major corporates, terming it as invasion of privacy in the wake of the Nida Radia controversy, the Prime Minister has uh, stepped up to defend the government, saying that these powers are necessary to deal with issues such as tax evasion, but has stressed that these powers have to be well regulated now and should not be misused. Now, the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh said that the government will look for solutions to limit phone tap access to the government alone. Ratan Tata, meanwhile, has filed a petition in the Supreme Court to protect his privacy. I am aware of the nervousness in some sections of the corporate sector arising out of the powers conferred upon governmental authorities to tap telephones for protecting national security and preventing tax evasion and money laundering. And some more national action. The winter session of parliament ended yesterday with the rift between the government and the opposition growing wider than ever. And today's senior BJP leader LK Advani led the charge as the NDA took its demand for a joint parliamentary committee probe to the people. Advani targeted the Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi for the government's refusal to set up a JPC probe. I want to say that this is the first adivation in which the whole ended in a fiasco aur ye pehla satra hai ki jisme kisi ek issue par congress party itni isolated hui jaisi is baar hui nda ki aur se mang thi ki bhai hum baaki koi cheeze humko bahut sare vishayon par charcha karni hai lekin aur vishayon par charcha tab karenge जब आप इस पर जॉइंट पार्लियामेंट्री कमेटी का की हमारी मांग स्वीकार करेंगे और उन्होंने तय कर लिया मैंने आखिर तक प्रधानमंत्री से लेकर के कांग्रेस पार्टी की अध्यक्षा तक उनका लगातार स्टैंड था कि नो जेपीसी नाउ बैक इन द सिटी पोस्ट रेंज इट्स ऑल अबाउट द बैटर्ड रोड्स पोर्ट होल्स एंड बोन ब्रेकिंग राइड्स थ्रू द सिटी Now we at NDTV Hindu have been bringing reports of the bad state of roads from across the city and this time our focus is on Arcot Road and this road is the one that leads to the national highway all the way to Bangalore our reporter Krishnamurthy gives us the ground report This road is home to the iconic AVM Studios and this is the stretch where film stars sit by on any day But now rather than star gazing the ground reality of terrible road conditions is hitting the residents and keeping their eyes downcast. This road was actually in a very bad state for a very long time and uh, one of our office staff called Mr Ramani to the initiative to come complain to the uh, government after repeated attempts and uh, various uh, legal issues the road was finally laid uh, now at the beginning of this year and again uh, you can see that uh, the road is in a very bad state. If residents in KK Nagar are miffed with roads not being mended for over a year, a report of which we aired recently, commuters in Valasaravakam are angered by hawkers encroaching on the roads, reducing existing space and worsening the problem further. More potholes have sprung up on many stretches adjoining the Arcot Road, like Saligram, Alva Tirunagar, Valasaravakam, and Lakshmi Nagar after the recent rains, say residents. When asked by NDTV Hindu corporation officials said that they have plans to relay the road within a month. We have invited tenders to relay the uh, entire Arcot road in worst stretches wherever it requires relaying. and we have settled tender to, uh, to the tune of uh, 1.2 crores for a length of 2.4 kilometers we will be taking up the work after this monsoon period most probably during the first week of january we will be taking up the work we will be completing the work before the end of the january the problem of bad roads in need of constant attention is the crying need of the city arcot road residents want cmda's plan for an elevated express way running from vadaparni to porur revived as a way of reducing the daily load on the road a long term vision on traffic should be factored in by the authorities while planning improvements to existing roads feel many in chennai with krishna murthy this is the vr for ndtv hindu Well, this is our image of the day today. There was a chaos in the Orissa Assembly after opposition Congress MLAs climbed onto the Speaker's podium during the question hour. Now, the Speaker was forced to adjourn the House. 
The Congress had been demonstrating in the well of the House for over a week now, demanding the resignation of Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik for his role in the acquisition of land for Vedanta University, something that has been termed as illegal by the Orissa High Court. We leave you with these visuals. Thanks for watching.